Welcome to this introduction video about the Danfoss EKE 100 superheat controllers and valve drivers. In this video, we will give you an overview of the Danfoss EKE 100 superheat controllers and valve drivers, which you see examples of here, to ensure correct selection and safe system operation. Therefore, we will show you the EKE 100 application modes, the main applications where EKE 100 is used, the available models in the EKE 100 portfolio. We will also show you the EKE 100 main technical specifications, how to identify the EKE 100 models, the EKE 100 fit in the Danfoss expansion ecosystem. Finally, we will show you where to find more information in the Danfoss product store and the Danfoss Cool Selector 2 selection software. The EKE 100 is suitable for three different application modes as specified here. This includes superheat mode, used with digital start-stop, or used with Modbus, or used with thermostat. Driver mode, used with analog input, or used with Modbus. And finally, Modbus controlled I.O. Please note that when using the EKE 100 as a Modbus controlled I.O., then EKE 100 will act as a valve driver based on Modbus input and physical sensors can be connected to EKE 100 and it will then send the sensor values to the master controller. The EKE 100 uses as a superheat controller or valve driver is suitable for many different applications within refrigeration and air conditioning. This includes blast chillers, cold rooms, air dryers as specified here, and industrial heat pumps commercial heat pumps, district heating, chillers for AC, rooftops, as seen here, and finally, close controls, IT cooling, as specified here. The EKE 100 portfolio consists of six models, which are EKE 100 with IP00 rating for one or two bipolar expansion valve control, as seen here, EKE 100 with IP20 rating and cover, for one or two bipolar expansion valve control, as seen here, and EKE 100 with IP20 rating cover and with built-in display for one or two bipolar expansion valve control, as seen here. Here you see an overview of this with the given code numbers of the different EKE 100 models. Here you see some of the main technical specifications of the EKE 100 models for one and two bipolar stepper motor valve control. We will not go into details here since you can find more information in the EKE 100 datasheet which is available on danfoss.com. Here you see more of the main technical specifications of the EKE 100 models for one and two bipolar stepper motor valve control. Again, we will not go into details here since you can find more information in the EKE 100 datasheet which is available on danfoss.com. There are different ways to identify the different EKE 100 models. An easy first way is to identify the IP rating model and if the EKE 100 is without or with built-in display. Here you see the EKE 100 with IP00 rating, which means it has no cover and it has no built-in display. Here you see the EKE 100 with IP20 rating, which means it has a cover, but this version is without built-in display. And here you see the EKE 100 with IP20 rating, again with cover, but also with built-in display. So let us see how to identify if the EKE 100 is for one or two bipolar expansion valve control. Here you see the EKE 100 IP00 model and the EKE 100 IP20 models with cover and without and with built-in display. For all three models, you can identify if they are one valve or two valves control models by checking the number of valve outputs on the top of the board. As seen, the one valve control model has one valve output and the two valves control model has two valve outputs. The last way to identify the EKE 100 models is to check the ID label on the back of the board. Here you see the back of the EKE 100 board which is the same for all three IP rating models. The ID label is located in the same place and includes the same information for all EKE 100 models. You can identify the specific EKE 100 model by the code number. 
The ideal label also includes product version called PV and software version called SWO. Please note that you need the product and software versions to configure the EKE 100 correctly. The Danfoss Electric Controllers and Expansion Valve Portfolio are supported by a complete range of products and services which all together form the Danfoss Expansion Ecosystem, as illustrated here. The products and services include controllers, drivers, sensors, power supply and backup module, service tool and programming. This complete expansion ecosystem is fully supporting the customer needs of Valve and System Control. Additionally, as also seen here, EKE 100 will be fully integrated in the new Alsmart ecosystem. The Alsmart system features a built-in superheat controller and valve driver for one valve, and extra EKE 100 controllers can be connected. You can find and select online the suitable EKE 100 variants and related information by using the Danfoss product store. See the following sequences how to do so. Go to danfoss.com and select products. Then select climate solutions for cooling and electronic controls or enter EKE 100 in the search field. From here you can select given EKE 100 variants and code numbers and search for other information and documents such as datasheet, installation guide, user guide and visuals. You can also find and select online the suitable EKE 100 variants and related information by using the Danfoss Cool Selector 2 online selection software. Open the software and follow the sequences shown here. Select electronic controls from the menu. Select superheat controllers and valve drivers. Here you see listed the available EKE type controllers including the EKE 100 variants with technical specifications. From here you can also select available documentation and visuals. You have now completed the introduction video of the EKE 100 superheat controllers and valve drivers. So now you know the EKE 100 application modes, the EKE 100 main applications, the available EKE 100 models, the EKE 100 main technical specifications, how to identify the EKE 100 models, the EKE 100 fit in the Danfoss expansion ecosystem, and where to find more information in the Danfoss product store and Danfoss Cool Selector 2 selection software. All this ensuring a correct selection and safe system operation. Have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss EKE 100 superheat controllers and valve drivers. Thanks for watching.